When you want to come light your fireplace, no matter if it's indoors or outdoors, first you'll need to find your gas key, insert it into the gas key area, turn it all the way to the left. It may take multiple turns for you to get the gas valve all the way open. Secondly, after you turn the gas valve on on the outside with the gas key, on some of our fireplaces, you will have a gas valve with a little red handle. Make sure that the gas handle is in line with the valve. This is open and this is closed. So make sure the gas valve is open and then we can continue on to lighting the fireplace. Next, you will turn the knob from off to pilot and then you will push the button in, holding it in while pushing the igniter button. Once you see the pilot light is lit, hold the button for about another 10 to 15 seconds to make sure everything's okay, and then you'll be able to release the pilot button. Once you've released it and the pilot light has remained lit, you can then turn the pilot light to the on position and let it warm up for a couple minutes. The fireplace has to warm up for a couple minutes, allowing this thermocoupling to warm up before you can turn it on. If I was to push the switch right now, which I will, the fireplace won't kick on. So I'll turn it back off. Once that thermocoupling warms up enough, it'll allow the gas valve to open to allow your fireplace to heat and fire up. So we'll wait a few more minutes and it should be good. We'll try again. It's still not warm enough. So once the thermal coupling has warmed up, push the on button and the fireplace will light. You then can control the height of your flame with the dial right here from either low all the way up to high. Also we tell people when you first move into your home run the fireplace with a few windows open if you have an interior fireplace um, because the coating on this fireplace tends to give off some fumes and your smoke detectors will go off but if you open a few windows let it burn for about an hour, hour and a half. It'll burn that coating off and you should not set off smoke detectors any longer. And then when you're done enjoying your fireplace, just come back, turn it to the off position and you're good to go.